All right, so it is time for us to get in one of the most heated heated parts uh, in your favorite into China here. And this is going to be do or die stuff, I tell you. If you don't want to watch this, go home and babysit your little sister or something. I mean, seriously. Or you probably are at home anyways, so you wouldn't be really going anywhere. And you could probably babysit your sister. <sighs> while watching this, um, technically. So, that was a terrible comeback by me, but whatever. So what we're going to be doing, immediately you got to be quick as a cat. You want to take your bombard cannons, which I had defending that great wall area. You're going to bring them all the way to where the engineer's base used to be. You want to build six villagers and set a waypoint where the engineer's base used to be. Um, and you want to build ten Mangandai, Mangandaya, um, and have them garrison inside the castle because you want to be able to all, all have them no attack stance um, and also one of your villagers that just built the castle you want to build okay that is hysterical that is obviously a American or English speaking person trying to have a Chinese accent that is just so corny but so wonderful um but what was I saying also, build the dock, uh, get careening first before you build your transport ships. Take this transport ship, bring it down here. It only has, only can carry five units, but that's enough uh, for you right now. Because you're only going to need three. And make sure you take that Chukonu out right here. Uh, you want to build your dock far enough towards the other edge of the land in order to draw that Chukonu. Because if you don't draw that Chukonu towards you, uh, it will haunt you and it will attract more in soldiers once you get to the other side of the map make sure you take that thing down I'm telling you again make sure you take it now all right so I get to use the 15 minute luxury in this time all or this video all the way up to 14 minutes and 31 seconds and also what you want to do is you want to make sure you get murder holes I already did this in this video but make sure you get murder holes right away because you're gonna get hit heavy from some uh, for some melee units like cavaliers on the other side and you want to be able to take them down with your castle which you're going to go to build I'll show you guys in a little bit but make sure you have murder holes or else this whole extravaganza is going to be a failure so right here I'm just checking out the coast make sure there are no Chukonu waiting out for uh, good old Genghis Khan's <coughs> wonder crashing party there's a cavalier good old cavalier sorry you can't get paladins but neither can I so I guess we're in the same boat Man, paladins, I can't wait till I get to Barbarossa campaigns. Paladins just strike fear into everybody. So do Tectonic Knights. I mean, with all the blood that comes out of them, they're like, what is that guy? Is that tomato juice you just ate or something? I mean, they, they don't even know. They don't even know how much blood can come out of somebody. And they, without, I mean, like, it just comes out of the stomach each time. Apparently, even if he gets hit in the back, it's coming out the front, but... I, I don't want to question the mechanics of this game too much because it just becomes hilarious then. So get these three transport ships up. Make sure you get all your units garrisoned in there. Or not garrisoned, but put in the transport ships. Make sure you have your six bombard cannons with you. Or maybe you have less right now, but bring as many bombard cannons as possible with you. Uh, now take your Mangadaya off, and this is crucial to put them in no attack stance because once you put them on land... You're going to be pretty close to a Cavalier, and then they might be going for the Cavalier, and you're probably going to end up being screwed royally by the Cavalier coming for you. And then a whole chain reaction will uh, occur, and you're going to die, and you're going to fail this mission. As sad as it sounds, into China is not, not, an, easy, not an easy one. I mean, if you get a little bit, if you get accustomed to it, hey, you can handle this. You can handle this stuff. I mean, this is no, this is no unlikely messiah for sure, but it's no jihad. Okay. So get your villagers up, and make sure you stay away from that cavalier. Okay, you got those cavaliers ready, or not cavaliers, but my bombard cannons villagers ready. Do one transport ship at a time, and make sure you're at the very far edge of the map, so you don't get close to those calves. Draw out those mangadies, mangadia. And get your final four bombard cannons, the key to victory. So take them. Try to take them all in one horde. Although that can a little bit, that can get a little difficult uh, because you're 
going to be difficult to squeeze in between that pond or edge of the lake. I don't really know. It's probably the Atlantic Ocean somehow, um, even though this is in China. Hey, Pangea didn't take place yet, probably. Just kidding. So, oh, oh, Chuko knew. Get back in the base for yourself. You don't need to deal with Mr. Mongolian tribe here. All right. I'm just trying to change history. Don't get in the way. Actually, Kings kind of did conquer China. Whatever. I'm still changing history in my book. Because I'm boss. Not really. I'm not even close. So you want to take seven or six, as I am right now, of your Mangandayas and point them to the very south southern corner of the map. Uh, in the diamond, the southernmost corner, and they will be running past many cavaliers, drawing many of the cavaliers away from you, allowing you to build your castle and allowing you to eventually get in uh, by the by the uh, Jin Wonder and take it down with your with your trusty bombard cannons. Thank thank you, engineers. Um, and for some reason, I mean, they didn't even find the technology. All of a sudden, they just know how to use these cannons. I mean, literally in matter of minutes. So they must be some smart people. But don't worry about your manga dies. They will all die, so they're kind of just fodder. I'm sorry. Once again, I've been treating my scouts awfully bad. For as much as I appreciate you, each unit. Because you all guys know that from watching my Command & Conquer videos. I try to use every unit I can. Saving every unit. But sometimes, Jin's too big. They're too intimidating. They have too many keeps, that's for sure. I mean... What do they have, 20 keeps around that base? Frickin' takes forever to take those down. Alright, so as you're building a castle, send two or as many villagers as you want. Uh, preferably no more than half because you want to split out the time you need to take to build those two structures. you got a farm, I don't care about you. Um, get that castle built and also use some of those bamboo reeds as part of your wall. Who cares about Siasia right now? I'll take them out sooner or later. Um... And make sure that castle gets up, and once you get that with your villagers, you can bring them down and help out building some of the more some more walls right here. You'll see why I'm building walls in a second. Also use this gate and connect it to the edge of the uh, the wall right there. There you go. It looks like there's a gap in between the walls, but there isn't, so you'll be alright. And now just keep your own units away from these cavaliers, which are dumb enough. Oh, they are going for me. Uh, not so tricky, but it'll probably die uh, sooner or later, and I'll at least be able to save some of my bombard cannons. But make sure these walls are built quickly. Make sure you're closing everything off. If you can't even build a full wall before your cavaliers are coming, make sure you get at least some of the wall uh, in order to make some a barrier, give yourself some time. See, that barrier's got built. The cavaliers cannot sneak in, and hopefully we'll be able to get these walls up before they get to the other side. And once you do, you'll be able to sneak your bombard cannons through here. Be checked with the Mangudayas on that side. Um, also, I'm in the Imperial Age. I've been getting in the Imperial Age this whole time. Just in case I need some trebuchets from my castle, I will build two right here. Maybe if they, my bomber cannons get taken out by the Chukonu, I will be able to uh, take out the Wonder still. So, thankfully, I usually don't have six. I usually have four or five bomber cannons at this point. Uh, but I have six, so I'll easily take out this Wonder. And that will free... Once you get that Wonder on, it's a walk in the park. I mean... A walk in the park, you can walk in this park blind after this. I mean, seriously. I mean, blindfolding yourself. What else? What Tying yourself with shackles. A chain and... A, a ball, ball and chain. Do whatever you want. It just becomes so easy after this point. And you get to get so many resources, you won't know what to do with yourself. You will be proclaiming yourself Bill Gates across the streets of China. So... I just want to get you, get you guys pumped for what's ahead and into China. Once you get this wonder down, it is the funnest mission you could possibly create. You get to dominate China. You can even take down the whole Great Wall, which uh, I will be doing. So I'm going to take down the Great Wall and totally wreck some tourist uh, vacations later on. That's the plan. I mean, that's the plan all along. This isn't a Age of Empires 2 walkthrough. I hope you guys have realized that. This is a tourist wrecking walkthrough right here. I am just destroying cities and destroying monuments so you, so them tourists can never come anywhere. Tourists in the street is going to be gone because of me. I mean, same. 
taking on the Washington Monument, Monument, I've taken on the Lincoln Memorial. I mean, all, well, not gonna go, well, Smithsonian Institution, I've taken that all down. I mean, shit, are you kidding me? This is a joke. Tourist industry, done. So, let's see if I can salvage this burning piece of stone here. I guess it's somewhat realistic, because there is some wood involved. Um, might be a little tight, but it's not going to be crucial at this point. They got arrows just raining on me, I tell you that much. And we got some farms going dead. So, hopefully we get taking that. Yeah, I'll take that. Ca take care of that real quick. Just don't want any any people to get too bored over there on the other side of the map. And I mean, I don't want them dinking around building gold calves or anything. So you, what you can do is you can set a rally point inside your castle if you want the Mangadaya to uh, maximize your arrows coming through. And I'm going to try to repair this thing. It is on its last legs. I'm telling you, it's on life support. If there was a life support for castles, it would be on it right now. But apparently there are no IVs involved. Uh, no IVs created yet. And there never will be for castles because that just doesn't make any sense. So you can take down this Chukanu awfully easy. They're not going to come through with any siege weapons either because they're pathetic. Uh, for some reason, Jin doesn't believe in siege weapons, but that's another story. So you'll have a heck of a time, or not a heck of a time, a very easy time uh, taking down any more units. And that, that castle, if you keep it up there, it will just be uh, a load of help for you in drawing some units, um, some units towards there and allowing them not to really get a good force of units up. So you can easily take them down later. Even though the way I do it, I don't really take them down based... Uh, not base, buy land units. So what you can do now is you after you uh, took this wonder down, you got a lot of leisure uh, in front of you. You got like, a nice amount of time. These bombard cannons are really not going to be necessary for uh, success later on. Uh, if you want to save them and salvage them, I will try to do that right here, but I'll probably die once I get over this castle just because the cavaliers will probably be rushing through. But it's about time where I take down these walls uh, that I built and build my own gates because gates obviously have more hit points and they will allow me to get through there later because I am the only one that can get through these walls now. So you uh, probably have to build another piece of wall. That's a buzzkill. That's a buzzkill. Alright, come on. Air tarted. Air tarted right there, I tell you. Let me tell you. Alright, so see all these bomber cannons fair. See how these bitches don't buzz. Feel like I found cannons. Just thought I'd throw that quote in. I mean, it fits in every situation anyways. So you can take down these two keeps, one of 20 that they probably have. I, I would say they have 20 at least. Um, and quickly build up these gates. You don't want Hissia, 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 however you say it. Um, coming through with some siege weapons and just messing you up. But we have murder holes and should have hoardings right now. All well, that doesn't affect castles already built. On yes, it does. Yeah, I think it does. Um, but anyways... So the castle should be able to strong enough instead. Instead, anyways. Anyways and instead, that should just cut me off from those words. Alright, keeps going down. So are my bombard cannons pretty soon here. I should probably garrison those Mangadias, but I don't really care. So, what I have about probably a minute left. Thank you, YouTube, for any more time. Anyways, uh, I'm not really going to be doing much in the rest of this video. In a couple minutes, I'm just going to be doing some petty stuff that I have to do to get my villagers organized like getting uh, assigning people to get wood gold and researching technology so that's basically what I'll be doing between now and the next video for into China I will show you guys what I did in between now and the next video but it'll be simple stuff uh, that is always necessary like once you have enough time to get different research um, technologies for blacksmith uh, to quicken up research, research, uh, resource gathering, and to enable me to build cannon galleons, which I will be using to take down Jin because they are a coastal city. I will take down all their uh, their towers defending the city, and then I will come through with some trebuchets, uh, good old champions, mangadias, and some cavaliers. So that I'll be doing. That'll what, that's what I'll be doing in the next video. Thanks for watching this most important part that we've had so far in this Age of Empires 2 walkthrough.